¡Hola! How are you guys doing? I am here to bring you another one of my favorites. This is zucchini fries. Now, keto, obviously, you're trying to get those fries back into your life. And honestly, it's just a healthy alternative in general. I do baked avocado fries too that are so good. They work so well with burgers. This works well with sides and everything. And this actually works really, really well with dips. So when it's coming to the season where we're having parties, where we're celebrating things, a lot of times it's, you know, you got to bring something, right? So it's good to bring something that you can eat to get started. You're going to need four medium sized zucchinis. They're about this size. Again, they don't have to be that many zucchinis, but you can do one, two, make as many as you want. You're gonna go ahead and make these into strips. So what I do, take the ends off, cut them like so. Now, one thing you should be making sure of when you're doing this is make sure that your zucchinis are dry because if they're wet on the outside from you washing them, the, the stuff that you're going to be coating it with isn't going to stick. Since we're not using flour, usually when you're making something like this, when you're frying, I follow the February, which is flour, egg, breadcrumb, F-E-B. But in this case, we're not doing any flour. Now, you could do some almond flour, but I figure why add more? carbs if not really needed so we're gonna do it this way so you're gonna cut it um, take off the ends then you're gonna cut it lengthwise then we're gonna cut it again into one two oh, three cuts which leaves you with four pieces of zucchini so we're gonna do the same thing one and it's slippery, so be careful. Two, three cuts. Okay? Once you have it cut like this, then you're just gonna go right down the middle. Boom. Zucchini fries! So this is the perfect size for you to have them. It's great. Um, you can make them a little bit smaller if you want, thinner. It's up to you. Sometimes if I have like this piece that I see that's like a little too thick, you can go here and you can cut it like this. Give it another fry feeling. And we're gonna keep cutting. So you have zucchini sticks. Now what? All right, so I'm gonna salt them a little bit. Throw a little salt, throw a little salt bay action. Just get salt everywhere and then a little over your shoulder and you're fine. You don't have to worry about it. You are going to prep everything else. So I have two medium sized eggs right here, already scrambled. I didn't think I needed to show you that because I feel like you know how to crack an egg and I have faith. Then you're gonna go ahead and take, this is one and a half cups of Parmesan cheese. This is actually like Parmesan dust. So you can buy it kind of like pulverized and that's what you're gonna want for this recipe. I am a huge, 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 huge and I mean huge, believer in having your own cheese and shredding a chunk of Parmesan cheese yourself, you can do that. You can put a chunk of Parmesan cheese in your food processor as long as it's not super hard and you can pulverize it. I just didn't feel like doing that this time. So I just bought it already done. And then I'm gonna take half a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, mix it in with the Parmesan cheese. Then I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and we're gonna go ahead and mix this up so the benefit of mixing this up into the cheese is that it's gonna absorb that flavor get it all mixed up together because this is gonna be where you're gonna do it all right we got that ready I have my parchment paper on my cookie sheet ready I have my oven at 350 and we're gonna go egg and then cheese. And in case you didn't catch that the first time, egg and then cheese. Now, a lot of people are like, well, why aren't you using almond flour? 
because you could make it keto friendly. I'm not doing that because I don't think this recipe really needs the added carbs, to be honest. So egg, breadcrumb, continue all the way down the line until you have a full tray. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple at a time. Okay, so after you are all done with that fun, fun activity, you should have a tray like this. I like to top it with a little bit of extra Parmesan cheese. And what we're gonna do is bake for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna flip them because they're kind of watery. Obviously zucchini has a lot of moisture in it. So we wanna flip it so that we can get some crispy fries. So let's bake. I'm back. Now it's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna take out the zucchini fries and I'm gonna flip them because I want them to get a little crispy. So let's take them out. Ooh, they look so good. They smell amazing. Okay, so you can definitely do this with tongs. They're, in my opinion, I'm, I'm okay to do it this way. Pretty sure my grandma would be like, why would you do it with tongs? So flip them all. Then we're gonna throw them in for another 15 minutes. Ooh. So as you can see, some of the ones on the outside got a little more crispy than the ones on this side. So I'm gonna flip the tray and just give it a little bit more and then we're gonna put it in for another 10 minutes and then pull them out. All right, here they go. Okay, so the timer went off. We're ready to take out our zucchini fries. Look at that, they look beautiful. So yummy and ready to try. Mind you, I would probably give it a second before you eat them right out of the oven because they are going to be hot. But I'm going to try them, so let's see. Guys, delicious. So these are great on a burger. These are great with a burger. These are great as an appetizer, as a snack. Honestly, anytime you want them, they're amazing. Do a little chipotle sour cream to dip in. Mm, you'll love them. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you tried these with, if you tried them, any other variations you want me to try. And I hope to see you next time. Hasta luego. I forgot. All right.